ourselves? How are we loving ourselves? Are we still looking outside of ourselves for other people to give us direction or other people's approval or all of that? Hi, Robina, good to see you. And, um, and or are we really trusting ourselves and following our own intuitive guidance and not worrying about what anyone else thinks? But we've also been reevaluating and we'll be doing that even more this coming week of who we're spending our time with and where we're putting our energy and all of that, but in a bit of a different sense. So we started this past week in the hearts, finishing up the month of November and we were feeling that completion of that of that month with a bang it really it really went out with a bang and i think a beautiful one because you know that wednesday energy was really i enjoyed it very much it was very flowing it was very creative it was um a lot of people were um figuring out how they wanted to connect or you know what what they wanted to really bring forth into the world all of this is is really based around our big visions of what we want to experience if you want to call that your purpose um, i usually call it purpose but sometimes people think that's only about what you do for a living and really it's just it's just how you show up in the world so like taking the job word out of it and more about what you know what do you want to bring forth into the world what is your authentic you and i really felt that flow was um really amplified there was a real momentum of that on wednesday which was beautiful and then as we came into the diamonds it was like okay what kind of experiences that are have we been creating we're getting that reflection back in the physical world we're getting that feedback from the physical world and we're continuing to get that today and so if there are any changes that you want to make if you're not loving the feedback that you're getting you know it's definitely we're being called into noticing that and making the shifts but i also think it's really important to be grateful for whatever feedback we're getting and not place too much importance on it either. Just, you know, thank you for that feedback and I am gonna keep going, I know what's right for me, and, you know, if I feel like I need to make any adjustments, my intuition will guide me. So, you know, not placing too, too much importance because this is where listening to what other people think or um or you know think you should do or what direction you should go in hey veronica happy december to you too um is is really important to be mindful of right it's you know i've been getting a lot of feedback about what everyone else thinks i should do and it doesn't match what's in my heart and so it's like okay well i gotta go with what's in my heart that is what my soul is telling me to move towards and you know it's telling me to keep going to keep going with what i'm doing and trust that you know i'm on the right path and that you know whatever feedback i've been getting is you know just a, a reflection of of all of the noise in the outside world which there's so much noise right now it's so amped up it was really amped up last month it's also amped up this month in a little bit different way but still there very much because there's so many things changing transforming collapsing um, new things beginning and so there's just a lot going on a lot of changes happening and there's a lot of um emotions that go with that a lot of triggers that go with that that we're experiencing on our own but also with the collective and everybody's having their own experiences of it depending on where they are at in their journey what they've been focusing on all year and you know and where they're they're meant to be headed into next year and really learning that we have a choice in every moment like this month is so interesting because it's really like we get to be reborn every single day and and this is really what it's teaching us is that's what it means to be in the flow that nine wants us to be in the flow and so um i don't know if you saw my my monthly forecast yet if you haven't take a take a watch it was really good um i'm just patting myself on the back because i i really do feel like i put out a really good forecast this month and um and and it is really about just waking up every day and going today is a brand new day brand new life doesn't matter what happened yesterday or what i think might happen in an hour from now or two weeks from now or whatever 
What matters is right now in this moment. And the nine is really calling us into being present because that is where we experience the flow. And so knowing that it doesn't matter what, you know, like I was reviewing today and sometimes this three energy can come in and bring that self-criticism and judgment in. And it's like, I was reviewing and I'm like, oh, I could have done that instead of that and whatever. And it's like, okay, well, you can learn from that, but don't beat yourself up and don't make it wrong what you did experience because you learned something. And that is really important too, going into this seven energy year that we're coming into, which we're already starting to feel some of that energy coming in. Hello, Jenny, good to see you. So I think that's really important um, to note all of that. And really, if you're feeling any sense of um, lack, like unworthiness or, or not capable, um, today that, you know, just, I saw this meme that I thought was really perfect for today. It was, um, it said, what if you just turned your light all the way on? And that's really what we're being called to do today. There's this um there's light coming in from the moon and the sun like together like we're in the spotlight and so it's like what if you just like owned it like you're in the spotlight turn your light all the way on from the inside out and just be you the biggest you you can be i remember like the day of the first eclipse back in october I put out a, a video of me singing um, one of my favorite Christmas songs and I kind of modified the words just slightly for the eclipse. And like, I was just in my power, my light was totally turned on, which was exactly what that eclipse was bringing forth. So think what you were doing back on that first eclipse in October, that day your light was probably turned all the way on so what did you do what did you do because i had the realization that not only do i can i choose to experience the um the energy that i associate with christmas morning which is all the joy and excitement and um you know wonder and um curiosity and all of that stuff that you you know felt as a kid when you woke up on christmas morning it's not only that I can choose that every day, but that I freaking am that. I am that energy. And so like, what were you experiencing on that day? Bring that back into your awareness today. If you're feeling any sense of like, I'm, I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough or any comparison, the two of diamonds can sometimes bring in that feeling of comparison of, you know, really judging ourselves against other people that are maybe putting similar types of work out there. Like, you know, if I compare myself with other numerologists and channels or something, which, you know, I've had the two of diamonds in my Saturn season, which I'm currently in. And so I've noticed that I've noticed like, and I really became aware of that this morning. I was like, oh, I see why I'm falling into that. You know, like, oh, they're doing that. I should be doing that. Oh, they're, you know, why am I not, you know, doing that or, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, wait a minute, we all show up differently because we're all different in, in, in our gifts and talents and what we bring through the numerology and the channeling. And so this is what we're being called into is really this deeper awareness of self and truth about who we are and that we have value. We are value that we are just value because we are who we are. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what we do or put out in the world, but we are here to contribute and share our gifts. And we are totally capable of it and totally worthy of it and, and valuable in that, in, in just opening up and shining and shining our light bright. So I think that's really, really key for today. Let me know in the comments how you've been experiencing this in, in, in this week and you know how you're experiencing the energy today. And so today is a day of amplification and it's a three energy day. So it's really amplifying all of this. And I think the other key thing is I think it's really important to bring in gratitude again. It's always, gratitude is always helpful, but on any days of amplification, especially when we get this three energy coming in, if you're feeling any of that like negative thinking at all, 
bring in gratitude, bring, bring in gratitude for anything and everything that you've been experiencing this week, that you've been experiencing today, the fact that you're breathing and alive, you know, whatever it is, just bring in lots of gratitude because that's a great thing to amplify any day. And, you know, with this amplification, I think it really helps ground in what we want to really experience. And when we bring in that gratitude, it helps open us up again to, wow, yeah, I could do this, I could do that. I could talk to this person, I could connect with that person. Maybe we could collaborate. It brings in more of the positive sides of the two of diamonds. So that being said, like let's look forward to our week ahead because you know, tomorrow we have, um, tomorrow's still rounding out the end of this week and we're ending on like a really, a really nice energy, a really, um, an energy of a lot of new things can be introduced. Um, the four energy day with the Ace of Diamonds can bring in those um, new contracts, uh, new, new ideas or commitments, um, new invitations to come together. It's our Neptune day. So Neptune, which is the season we're in right now, is also gonna be amped up because the first nine, 10 days of this, of this uh, month are all amplified by the double numbers. So what I mean by that is we have the day number one on the first, we have day number two on the second, day number three on the third. So we've got two threes today. So it's really amping things up. And tomorrow we have two fours. And we have with the Ace of Diamonds and the Aces always bring in something new. That's gonna be something new in the physical world. And fours like to bring in commitments, but they also like to bring groups together. So, you know, any sort of like, um, group activities or new commitments, especially on a Neptune day could be really fun. Um, and or, you know, invitations to things that will be happening later this month um, could be happening tomorrow, but also just, you know, new ideas of how maybe you could um, create new experiences with groups in your business if you're a business owner or in your personal life if you want to have more connection and create more um, community this is going to be a day where there could be a lot of ideas coming in for how to do that or you might be dreaming about that because it's a neptune day so um but i feel like right now we're we've been in a lot of like today's a very action-oriented day yesterday was very action-oriented so was thursday like these physical days with the diamonds are pretty action-oriented and this coming week we will also be taking a lot of action. So we're moving into the clubs, which is going to be about what we think and how we communicate. And we'll be in the clubs for two weeks, two full weeks in the clubs. So um, we're gonna start off the week though with some really intense energy as we move into the full moon. And this week is going to be a little bit on the challenging side and we're really going to be called into self mastery. So uh, there, we will be <laughs> we'll be experiencing a lot of people around us falling into um, emotional outbursts and um, bursts of um, like control and maturity, um, all that kind of stuff. If they aren't spiritually aware, if they aren't on a spiritual path, and we'll need to watch that for ourselves too. This full moon is going to be very, um, very amplified as everything is this month. I talked about that because of the 12. So there's a massive amplification this month and the 12 being the 12th month of the year. And this full moon is really, really amped up. It's really powered up because we've got three sevens influencing it and the Jack of Clubs with the King of Clubs behind it. So the King of Clubs we're experiencing on Monday is also going to circle back again in two days as an undercurrent for that full moon. So the decisions we're making Monday and the, the choices we're making, the changes that we're making that come into our awareness that we, you know, set an intention for and maybe start taking some action on. Because I really do feel like this whole week is like asking us to take a lot of action. 
but it needs to be from a place of self-mastery. So I mean, don't let your head, your ego run the show. That self-mastery is really calling us into making our decisions intuitively and through the heart, through the soul, not through the ego. And to be very mindful of this this week, of like of any time, like this is gonna be a really important week to be mindful of that and to practice with that. And you know your interactions with the rest of the world, you're gonna see that there are a lot of people making ego-based decisions that are gonna be coming from that place of control and, um, and like I said, emotional immaturity. So, um, you know, really letting their fear run them, or um, or their feelings of self uh, worth being not not very good. Um, that's a bad place to make decisions from. And so, even on Monday, we may be feeling our own like, wow, you know, I'm really being challenged to feel my worth and feel my capability of, you know, really carrying out the dream and the message that I want to share with the world. And this is really a time to freaking own it. And we've been, you know, really called into this over and over again all year long. And now it's like, okay, we're still learning, we're still practicing, but let's Let's own what we have learned, what we have mastered so far, and trust that we we have learned enough. That's what that full moon is really going to bring up, is trusting that we have learned enough, that we can really trust ourselves, that we can really trust to share our message out with the world, to, sh to really trust in our big vision. And, you know, even if those those big visions and dreams might seem a little crazy to other people because that jack of clubs can have some unique ideas and what other people might dub strange or you know like unrealistic or whatever and we're really being asked to lean into that so you know monday we're going to feel that um that call to self-mastery and to choose like where are we giving our attention and where are we putting our energy who are we spending our time with again and are they supportive to us are are they you know supporting what we what we're going for even if they don't understand it are they still cheering us on or are they are they, you know, the naysayers that are, you know, really we have to fight even harder to keep our vibe up because we're surrounding ourselves with people that are bringing us down. So I think we've been, you know, reviewing that a lot recently and we'll be doing that all month and really like letting go of some of some more relationships that might not be serving us um, and bringing in opening up that space, which the nine likes to do to bring in the new. And um, I think that's really important. You know, we want to make sure that we're, we're, I mean, why would you want to spend time with people who just aren't supportive to you? So this is really going to be a big theme this week again, but also really knowing and trusting that we first and foremost have to find that within ourselves. So where are you putting your energy? Are you putting your energy toward the things the thinking energy, the mental energy toward what you want to create. The five is all about, do you believe in possibilities? Do you believe in, you know, the infinite possibilities as we come into that full moon? It's really saying anything is possible here. Are you willing to believe that? Are you willing to own that? And the king is saying, are you willing to live it and be the example of that in the world? So I think that this is really going to be a key theme this week. And I think we'll, we'll by the end of the week, we'll, we will probably be letting go of something or someone in our physical experience because I see an undercurrent of the nine of diamonds with that seven of clubs. So there's something in our physical world that's probably going away because we've changed our mind or chosen to believe in ourselves and believe in our dreams even more. And that'll be on that Sunday. So um, so by the end of the week, I really think we're going to be making that shift. But I also want to talk really quick about the days that follow that full moon because they are they are kind of significant. And I, I talked about Tuesday, the Queen of Clubs Day in the in the monthly forecast. So I'll just go back to that. She is the ultimate planner. 
Um, I think we're going to see that maybe we're going to be reviewing what we've put into place um, maybe over this past week with the new ideas and plans that we've had or maybe even from before that and we're going to be we're going to be making decisions about ha have i overcommitted myself are there new things that i want to put out you know do i want to keep going forward and making changes accordingly to to what um what what our current plans are I think that because it's coming into the full moon, it's probably going to be a letting go of some stuff like, you know, less doing and more being is what the nine is calling us into and what the fifth dimensional frequencies are calling us into. So it's, you know, going to be, I think, about like, where have I overcommitted myself? And it could be with a lot of those holiday um, commitments that we make this time of year with you know, I don't know, different parties or, you know, whatever, if you're doing some charity work, or whatever it is, you may realize that you've overcommitted and that you need to actually let some of it go. So coming into that full moon, you might be experiencing that now after the full moon. So on Thursday, that's the day to really watch out for people being emotionally immature and watching out for yourself too, because there could be a lot of mental spinning and it's gonna there's gonna be a lot of momentum to it and because that we've got that double eight energy that day there the eight is a, a very emotional number it can bring anger through a lot of people so just be mindful of that when you're moving through the world and this is a really key day really key day to be amping up your gratitude because with that ten of clubs and the eight momentum number this is an incredible day to tap into the energy of gratitude so that you don't fall into the trap that that a lot of other people will and to be really um mindful of you just need to stay focused on yourself and not worry what anyone else thinks or what anyone else is doing and trust yourself to do what's right for you this is a day when there could be, because there's this undercurrent of the Ace of Clubs, so I feel like there's a lot of new awareness coming in. There's a lot of new um, information that might be coming in this day. And because it's a Thursday, that's our, our collective Jupiter day, ultimately it's going to be a blessing. Whether it looks like it or not on that day is really up to you and how you want to experience it. But this, you know, this 10 of clubs, there is a lot of mental power that you can harness if you are in self mastery over your own mind. So if you take the time to pause, meditate, bring yourself back into center and, and bring yourself into that mind heart coherence, this is going to be a really important day to do that. Um, so that you don't run away with the, um, that eight can be a, an angry bully and, or it can be filled with anxiety. So one of the two could happen if you're not, if you're not practicing your self mastery. And so that's really where I want to bring your attention, start early in the day and then keep bringing yourself back to gratitude and back to self and what what is what is it that i'm focusing on where am i putting my energy where am i putting my mental power what am i focusing it toward there's a lot of creativity available this day if you choose to harness that mental energy and that creative energy to bring it into mastery to bring it into um you can actually experience a, a momentum of of recognition and um, and mastery of your craft if you choose to harness it that way. So um, bringing forth something new, if you are a teacher or, um, or a channel or you know anybody who's bringing new information into the world, this is really a day where you can create a lot of momentum with it. So there's a lot of opportunity here to do that. But still, I feel like this full moon <laughs> It just feels like this week is going to be a little bit challenging, especially as we, you know, move e even toward the end of this week, because then the next day we have our, our collective Saturn day. We have the nine energy day on, on the ninth day of the month with a nine of clubs contract. And that's a whole lot of nines. 
So it's really um, bringing an ending, a conclusion, um, and accountability to our dreams. And so this is really accountability toward our big vision with that nine of clubs being the visionary. But nine of clubs can also be a very emotional card. Now the underlying energy is the king of diamonds. So the king of diamonds says you can really succeed in the physical world at anything you put your mind to, anything that you believe that you can do, anything that you can vision, you can create. So there is a way to harness this energy, but you really have to, to be mindful that it, there, it's anything coming to a conclusion is definitely for your best and highest good. You can choose to um, celebrate what's coming to an ending no matter what it is, or you can choose to feel disappointment, grief, um, sadness, uh, abandonment, any of those types of feelings can come up on the lower side of the nine. It's really your choice. So how are you going to move through this day? Because this day can, you know, what it's really doing for us, whether you choose to see it that way or not, it's bringing you closer to the fulfillment of your dreams and big visions. It's clearing out what doesn't serve. Most of which I think will, well, I would say mostly mentally, except because that king of diamonds is there, I, I think also there will be something in the physical world that will be clearing out that day um, that isn't serving. And, you know, it's really how are you going to choose to process that mentally and emotionally, you know, and, and the, that king again is calling us into that mastery and like, yeah, you can master, you can be in masterful position of this, letting go of your insecurities around, um, around things like, you know, worry, anxiety, uh, feeling abandoned. If you do what, what's right for you, this is really calling us like, do what's right for you. Don't worry about anything else. Trust yourself. The trust is like such a big word this month and all next year. And so this day really calls us into that trust. Trust that you are the king of the physical world. You are the king of your mental world and you are the king of your heart. So king of your soul, king of your big visions. The king is the master. You know, and so this is really um, sometimes the kings, though, because they're the higher version of the four, can get a little stubborn. And that nine can also bring in a lot of resistance in the lower side. If you're not accepting what's leaving, what's completing, or what needs to complete, it could be um, a very challenging day for you. So the higher side of all of that, um, the king and the nines, is to see the bigger vision, see the bigger picture, and, and know and trust that in order to bring in something even better, in order to realize your dreams, you gotta let go of the things that aren't working or the things that aren't in alignment with it and to trust that process. So that's Friday. And then as we move into the weekend, um, we move into the 10th, which is Saturday. We have the eight of clubs and the one. So I really feel like, okay, the eight of clubs can be very fixed in its thinking, but it also can be very focused. So it, it has a high side and a low side, just like all the other numbers. And I feel like we're going to get, um, because that one is coming in with the undercurrent of the 10 of diamonds and the 10th day of the year of the month, we're going to really have a lot of new awareness, new ideas coming in that open up our mind more. And I also say that because it's our Uranus day, so there could be something, actually, I want to say back on Friday, there could be something shocking in what is being released, that something that surprises you that you might not have expected. And like we move into Saturday and it's like, oh, I see why that had to happen. I understand it better. There's like new awareness coming in that that goes, oh, I see like I let go of this and now I'm able to experience the overflow of abundance and and prosperity in the physical world 
because I was I, because I let go of this thing. So really, this good news at the end of the of the line here is that you move into this awareness of and gratitude for another day again to practice. So I think just gratitude, gratitude, gratitude all week long is really going to serve. But this is another one of those days where gratitude really wants the momentum of that is going to be huge and um, and really like allowing yourself to receive all of the new coming in because of that undercurrent of the Ten of Diamonds, but also the Eight of Clubs. The Eight of Clubs doesn't go out there and make things happen. It shares its message, it shares itself and lets people come to it. The Ten of Diamonds is also receive, 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 right? Share your wisdom and then just receive from that. So it's not about um, trying to find people to hear your message or force people to hear your message or, you know, anything like that. It's more about um, really allowing it to come to you very much so this day. So and, and really just practicing with that overall, because that's about being in the flow that the eights also and especially the eight of clubs, that intuitive knowing just knowing things right and so that coming in with the um with the collective uranus day i really feel like there's not only going to be a reflection back on the week and all that you've learned and why it was so valuable there will be that coming in but i do feel like there will be a, maybe a surprise maybe a miracle coming in that you just weren't expecting so it, i really feel like it could be a good thing and it could be a really fun day um, if we're willing to open up and just allow things to come to us. So that Uranus energy is like expect miracles. And I see with that, um, with that energy there that that is entirely, it's always possible, but really um, the potential for it there is good. And then we move into that Sunday, the 11th, we have the seven of clubs and the two energy with the undercurrent of the nine of diamonds. The nine of diamonds is, you know, usually about um, some, some, especially in a weekly energy or daily energy. You, it's really about like maybe there's a small expense, you're, you know, some, some money going out or something going out in your physical world. So like I was sharing before, it could be, um, it could be a, a person or it could be um, something in your environment or some money or something like that. But it's not to worry. Like this is all in, in conjunction with letting your attachments go to, um, to, to the physical world really and trusting in your big dreams and visions. And like, you know, the day before you can see like things will just come to you, will magnetize to you. And so I feel like there's um, there's definitely an energy of that continuing into that Sunday that really closes out our week with I'm going to believe in the bigger picture. What's best for me is what's best for everyone, because when we're true to ourselves and we're true to who we are and what we want and what our dreams are and really opening our mind up to what we believe is possible for us. We don't need to get that from anyone else from the outside world. It's really about letting go of that idea that you need to get it from somewhere else and just trusting that you're you're creating that for yourself and you're experiencing that for yourself first from within and then it shows up in the physical world. And I think, you know, moving into um, that Monday, we will really see that abundance moving in, and we'll talk about that next week. But I did mention that Monday in the monthly forecast because it was a big uh, day as well. So, and I think this whole week and this full moon is really clearing a lot of stuff out to help prepare us for receiving even more. That life is just going to continue to get better. Uh, but we have to go through some of the challenges of navigating the nine and working with the nine in the higher sense of, you know, trusting and accepting and allowing. Like those are the three key words with the nine really um, is, is, yeah, just, you know, move through some of the stuff that's just clearing out and coming to an ending. And I really think this week we're going to be feeling the 
the nine energy really strongly. So, um, so hang in there, guys, because it really, it really is getting better, and it's really all about that mental and emotional mastery and trusting yourself, trusting your own path, and staying con you know, connected with your big vision and um, in, in your support group and your support network that helps you move through when you know you're feeling challenged by some of these energies so you know there's no um it's it's good to tap into we're not meant to go this alone it's like we don't need to be attached to anyone but at the same time we're not meant to be in this alone either we're meant to navigate this together and shift together so um, no one's alone we all belong and that will be another theme that will continue this week is to remember that you know we all belong that we all belong here that we all have value and um, and we and connect with the people who help support that remembering in you I love you guys so much I know I went a little bit longer than usual but I felt like this was a really big energy week and it was really important to go day by day and just you know kind of cover the energies so I hope this was helpful to you I'd love to hear from you guys and let me know like how this is landing for you now as you're listening to it live or on the replay. And if you remember to come back, you know, later this week and let me know um, how it went and, you know, how many of these things really ended up being what what we're thinking they might be or, or you know, if they end up a little bit different than that or how it ended up landing for you. So um, I love you guys so much and thank you for joining here live and on the replay and I will see you again for Magical Mondays at 11 a.m. here in the Love Yourself to Wealth Facebook group. Bye-bye for now.